So this question is uh, says to us, two forces act on a particle. Both forces act in the xy plane. So the, the paper, the sheet of paper is in the xy plane. Express the result of adding these two vectors together in ijk notation. So we're given a, a 9 Newton force at 70 degrees to the uh, x-axis. And we've got a 7 Newton force at 30 degrees from the negative y-axis. And we need to express that in ijk notation. So let's start off by visualizing our uh, vectors, our components. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine projecting these two lines to the side. Remember that the x component uh, and the y component are smaller than the original vector. The original vector is always the hypotenuse. So we have one component horizontally and one component vertically. And I can even write down the value of these components using my trigonometry. And I can say that this guy here is going to be 9 cosine 70 degrees newtons. And I can say that this one here would be 9 sine 70 degrees and the units are newtons and why is this sine this length is the same as that length and this is the opposite of this angle and the original vector is the hypotenuse so opposite over hypotenuse is a sine and why was this cosine this is cosine because this is the adjacent to this 70 degree angle and the original vector is the hypotenuse and adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. And I can do the same thing with um, these guys. I can imagine projecting this vector back and this vector back and then that will give me a horizontal vector and a vertical vector and this one would be 7 uh, sine 30 newtons and then this here would be 7 cosine 30 newtons but this is a minus sign because this is pointing downwards. So this is positive because it's pointing to the right. And this is positive because it's pointing upwards. And this green one is positive because it's pointing to the right. But this guy here is negative because it's pointing downwards. So having done that, we need to, we need to work out our uh, um, ijk vectors. So we go ijk. And let's start writing things down. Let's do the i's to begin with. So I have plus 9 cosine 70. That's for this vector here. I have plus 7 sine 30. That's for that vector there. And then over here I have plus 9 sine 70. And then down here I have minus 7 cosine 30. And then I have nothing coming out of or into the board. So I had, have 0 and 0. OK. And the next thing we need to do is work out our um, trigonometry on these. And I'm just looking around for my calculator. which is here. So I say 9 cosine 70 enter, is 3 point plus 3.08 and then 7 sine 
30 is going to be plus 3.50 and then 9 sine 70 is equal to plus 8.46 and then 7 cosine 30 is going to be minus 6.06. .06. The minus coming because of my diagram. You, you can't not have, uh, uh, you can't not have observation of the diagram. You got to look at the diagram. So then I add these guys together, and I get eight, and I get five, and I get six, and that is in the x direction. And then on this one. I have a negative, so that's going to be 0, that's going to be 4, and that's going to be 2. So that's 8.46 minus 6.06 .06 is plus 2.40, and that's J. And then I have, I don't like to ignore the K, just because it's not mentioned, I like to put it in. And then the final thing, which I absolutely must not forget, is that this is, of course, a, a vector pattern, which is in terms of uh, uh, Newtons. So I put down Newtons. And then the final thing I do is I put a box around my answer. So skills in this. There's been able to visualize breaking down a, a vector into components. And then there's the skill of being able to use the correct trigonometry to be able to get the right expressions for those components with the correct signs. And then the rest is, is arithmetic, really. You're just basically adding up and, uh, and the, like these numbers and then expressing it in a, a nice standard format, not forgetting the uh, units at the end. Uh, it's a very important skill.